Hi, I'm Michael Tanel with Tux Digital. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your default Plasma 5 desktop from the bright theme to a global dark theme. I really like KDE Plasma 5's default theme. It's pretty nice with this flat design style. It is a significant and much needed upgraded from Plasma 4. Seriously. This is a very welcome change in my opinion. I mean, there are so many things wrong with this one. And what is with that blue glow around the window? Who thought that looked good? Anyway. I do like the default look in general. However, I prefer my desktop environment to be a dark theme, for many reasons. Probably the most important reason, though, is because I'm looking at a computer screen for the majority of my workday. And darker themes are just more friendly to my eyes than bright themes for long-term viewing. There are a couple steps required to activate the dark theme globally. It would be a better experience usability-wise if the process was simpler, but it's not too hard to do it as it is now. To begin, we need to open KDE System Settings, which, by the way, is a pretty great application because it allows you to modify practically everything in your system with just one suite of tools. So first we're going to change the, the Plasma Desktop theme itself. So we're going to go to Workspace Theme, Desktop Theme, and then Breeze Dark, and click Apply. You can see down it's already started, but we got a little bit left to do. We're going to go to the icons, and we're going to change the icons to breeze dark. Click apply. And you can see they kind of vanish a little bit. But now we're going to change color to breeze dark. Click apply. And the icons are visible again because now they match. That's pretty much it for the KDE side with the QT applications and things like that. So as you can see the menu has changed significantly. We can open up Dolphin and it's changed to blend with a global theme, global dark theme. And uh, But now we can do GTK apps. So far this tutorial has been Plasma 5 version agnostic. Uh, it didn't really matter what version of Plasma 5 you had, but it does now so when we start doing the GTK applications. So I'm doing this tutorial in Kubuntu 16.04, which has Plasma 5.5.4 at the current state of this uh, beta version of 16.04. It might Im increase uh, later on, I'm not sure. But when you go to application style and you go to GTK styles, you'll see that there is a breeze dark. In Kubuntu 15.10 and older, or in other versions of KDE Plasma 5, you won't see this breeze dark option. You'd see the oxygen GTK option only. Which, for the most part, does the same thing. It just doesn't have the same kind of icon theme and stuff like that. Uh, but typically, you won't really notice a difference. So this is what Firefox looks like. Uh, Firefox 45 in this example. With the global dark theme applied to uh, KDE Plasma 5, but the GTK apps are still using the bright bright theme base. And this is what FileZilla looks like with the same situation. So to turn on the global theme for GTK, we're going to go to Application Style, Gnome Application Style, change Breeze to Breeze Dark, GTK3 Breeze to Breeze Dark, and then the icon theme Breeze to Breeze Dark. Then click Apply. Uh, the difference, we're going to have to do uh, both GTK2 and GTK3 because there are some applications like Firefox that are still using GTK2. Um, Firefox 46 is supposed to have GTK3, but who knows. Anyway, this is what uh, a GTK application will look like when you apply the dark theme. And to me, I think this actually looks better. Uh, it looks really good. And uh, you can see that it's, you know, using the global dark theme in the menus as well. And I think this flat icon style for FileZilla looks really good in this particular example. I think this breeze dark theme looks great for all QT and GTK applications that implement the toolkits correctly. 
However, there are some examples where the toolkits aren't implemented correctly, resulting in some weird side effects. Firefox is a good example of this. Firefox UI actually looks pretty good with the darker theme. So you can see like it blends quite nicely with the borders of the, of the window and the hamburger menu looks pretty good when you have it applied. But the side effect it has is regarding the actual websites you go to. There are some, uh, most websites kind of depend on the browser's defaults in certain cases, like for example colors of default elements like input boxes and uh, buttons and radio uh, controls like radio boxes and, and check boxes and things like that. So Firefox, the side effect with Firefox is that it essentially ignores the norm of the, the typical website and just changes the color of the background, sometimes the text, sometimes both. Sometimes it's readable like this, and sometimes it's not. Now if you were to open Chromium, um, you'll notice that the borders don't actually match very well. And you'll notice that the search box doesn't have that problem. And you'll notice the YouTube search box does not have that problem. And that's because Chromium and Chrome don't necessarily use GTK. They do, but it's more of a, a fork version of GTK. Uh, so it's their own custom toolkit. However, they do have support to blend in with GTK. So you go to Settings, and you go to the Appearance, and you just click choose, Use GTK. And now it blends in. And now I don't necessarily like this, uh, the color of this chosen here, but it doesn't bother me. More importantly, you go back to Reddit, and just to make it clear, I'll refresh it, and you'll see you can still read everything, there's not, nothing to turn black, and same thing with YouTube, so I'm going to refresh to prove it, and it's fine. I'm showing you this issue with Firefox not because I want to discourage you from using a global dark theme or to discourage you from using Firefox. I just wanted to, to inform you of these side effects so you wouldn't be surprised by them. I actually prefer Firefox, so I spend some time figuring out how to fix these side effects. In a future video, I'll explain how to fix those. Um, there's actually more than one way to do it, and in that video, I'll demonstrate all of them and also provide my suggestion for which one that I think you should use. This issue is not exclusive to Firefox. For example, Midori has some similar issues. But so far, I haven't noticed anything that makes the using the website difficult, like the YouTube example in Firefox. You'll see in Reddit that the checkboxes and the login button is a, is made dark, but for the most part, it doesn't actually make any kind of any difference. So if you go to YouTube with the global dark theme and type in a search, you'll notice that you know you can still read it and everything. So it's not the same level of severity in Midori. This is to show that other applications have some similar side effects when you do global dark themes with GTK applications. It's not a guarantee and is also no, there's no way to know if the severity of what applications will work and what won't. Uh, you just have to test them. If you do find an application that has these one of these side effects, uh, please send a bug report to the upstream developers so that they are aware of them and so that they can fix them. Hopefully we can together solve the global dark problems and uh, make using it a much better experience. Thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful please like and share and uh, also of course subscribe if you're interested in getting more content from me. Um, thanks again uh, my name is Michael Tunnell with Tux Digital and uh, be sure to keep using, learning, and enjoying Linux.